Hi, my name is Irene Tansman, and I'm the author of A.B. and Arlene's Autism War. Today, I'd like to talk to you about House Bill 125, which establishes independent oversight and quality control over the Massachusetts DDS system and its corporate contracted providers. I have a son who is 32 years old and is served by the DDS, uh, by a DDS contracted provider for both day and residential services. My son has been abused in two different substantiated abuse cases. One involved tying belts on him so tightly that it caused welts around his waist. The other was when he was repeatedly punched in the side of his head and had his genitals squeezed. This abuse occurred in his day habilitation program. There was more than one incident associated with each reported complaint. Whenever you have a vulnerable population, that population will attract people who want control. Bullies, narcissists, sexual predators, physical and emotional abusers, and those who crave schadenfreude are attracted to jobs in human services. You can find these people at every pay level and at every provider agency. You will also find them at the Department of Developmental Services. Both corporate providers and the DDS enjoy complete control. There is no oversight. The DDS supports corporate providers and vice versa. There are no independent advocates in the system for vulnerable individuals and their families. People who truly want to help this population are also attracted to the human services field. These folks are extremely dedicated and hardworking. You will also find them at corporate provider agencies and at the DDS too. What you end up getting is a matter of luck. With independent quality control, uh, with an independent quality control entity in place, families and advocates would have a much needed resource when situations become intolerable and help is desperately needed but nowhere to be found. Independent oversight would prevent and correct some of these situations from occurring. I do hope that House Bill 101, Nikki's Law, gets passed. It is a very important law. This is the one that establishes the registry. However, it is not enough. It's just a tiny baby step. I fought for five years for accommodations for my son's Crohn's disease within his rehabilitation program. Staff did not have the time to accompany him back and forth to the bathroom the many times he asked to go. The answer a staff person had for my son's Crohn's disease and frequent trips to the bathroom was to put a belt on him so tightly it formed welts on his body, and she denied him access to the bathroom. One Friday when I picked him up, he was wearing a belt like that, but I, did, I couldn't see it. I didn't know what was going on. I saw him whimpering periodically, but I didn't know why. When I finally saw what they had done to him, I felt like I was going to faint. I tried to cut off the belt, but I couldn't get a scissor in. So I just worked to unfasten the, the belt by pulling it. He screamed with pain, but I finally got the belt off. Eventually, I ended up at a hearing at the DDS, and we got him an aide who would help him with his issues. But it was a long, hard process. It took five years of suffering before the issue was finally resolved. Access to the bathroom is in the DDS regulations. While this is considered a basic human right, there is currently no entity in the system that assures that this right is respected. So whether you're a lawmaker or just somebody watching this video, if you live in Massachusetts, please support H 
125, the bill that establishes independent oversight and quality control over the DDS and its contracted provider, providers. And also please support H101, which is Nikki's law, which creates a registry of abusers so that they can't be recycled back into the system to abuse again. Thank you so much for listening.